Hey, welcome to Big Jim's Matchmaking Services. Here to solve all your matchmaking needs. Oh yes, thank goodness I found you. I am in dire need of a match. Great, I'll get started on making you some matches. But don't you want to know a little bit about me first? Oh, I see. No, 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 no. We're not matchmakers, we make matches. Oh, thank the heavens, I've been so lonely lately. No, 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 like the ones that make a flame? That's exactly what I'm looking for. A flame that will last a lifetime. I don't set you up with anybody. We just make matches that help light a fire. I see. So you just give me candidates and I'll wow them with my beauty and intelligence. I'm not being figurative here, man. I'm being literal. I'm picking up what you're putting down. No, I don't think you are. What? I make these, man. Oh, I see. So you don't help people fall in love then? No, I, I'm sorry, we don't. Oh, silly me. Thinking I could just walk into a shop and pay someone all of this money for love. Huh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, and this is only a down payment. I love you. <gasps> I love you too. I'm going to call my mother and let her know the good news. Hello, everybody. What's going on? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Oos. <laughs> the Obsidian Order SMP, baby, and today I have big plans. Actually, small plans. We're restricted slightly, but I'll get into that a little bit here in the near future. We're going to be doing some things over at Spawn, getting some shops set up because I need to make me some moolah. I'm running out. I'm running out of diamonds, okay? I need to get some diamond days so that way I can keep on paying Ander for his rockets because I, oh my goodness, I use rockets like crazy. I mean, how do you not? When you have a cool looking build like this where you could just fly around in and just do these really cool aerial maneuvers like this, how can you not use a million fireworks, right? Right? Look at this. Oh, perfect landing squid. You the man. <laughs> so I have plans. I have plans. And all those plans are in these two shulker boxes right here. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because this is what I'm planning for today. This is what I'm planning here in the near future. Once again, right across from spawn. So, I mean... Yeah, it's gonna be a bigger, it's gonna be a bigger project, but you can see the comparison between what I'm planning today and what I'm planning in the near future. <laughs> I'm scared. But look what I did last episode. Look at this. Ah, yes, baby. It's beautiful. I just come through here. I get all the emeralds I could ever ask for. Yep, just keep on giving me these emeralds. Oh my goodness, this guy. Oh my goodness, how many are you going to give me? 15 total? Thank you. Let's go on to the next guy. And just under a full stack of emeralds here. And I only went up to about three or four of these guys. So you can see, I have a fully functioning emerald farm. We can get a ton of these bad boys. Now, I am also going to have to work on getting a new <laughs> a new golden carrot trader because I mean, I can't trade that whole entire stack to this guy without him refusing to let me buy any more. But look at this. Look how many golden carrots we have now. I'm not even worried. I'm honestly, I'm not even worried about fuel sources anymore or food sources, fuel sources for the body rather <laughs> anymore because this is just absolutely perfect. But today, I think let's take a step outside of the tower, okay? We spent the last couple episodes in this tower. I think we should take a step outside and start working on getting some passive income. I'm talking about a shop, baby. So let's go ahead, make this bad boy over at spawn, and then I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> time lapse time, baby.
Crypto! Look at this! Look how beautiful it turned out! I absolutely love this! <laughs> Got some crane action here happening on the top, holding up some moss, holding up some amethyst, so everybody around this area knows that this shop sells moss and amethyst, okay? Obvious now! <laughs> <laughs> we throw in some copper here to make it look a little bit more prettyified, and I think this whole build just kind of came together. It tells a little bit of story, you know, one with the cranes, but you also have this like log fume, I guess is what it's called. I don't know. This little section here where it's like, okay, this is the de the depot where we stop and we drop off the amethyst blocks, and then it slides along this line here to this open door. Yeah, it doesn't really move. It doesn't really do anything, but I think it tells a little bit of a story. So the outside is Butonymous. Now we had a small restriction this season for our shopping district, okay? The restriction was the build had to be one chunk big, okay? It cannot exceed one chunk. Now there's one, one building in shopping spawn here that was slightly bigger. Not pointing fingers, vid. Not naming names, vid. <laughs> So that's where this idea kind of came from. I thought this was super fun and honestly it worked out pretty beautifully. Walking inside is another question entirely. There's not a whole lot going on here. <laughs> not a whole lot of storytelling or anything crazy. We have some item frames here which I think I'm going to go ahead and just place some random blocks around. But other than that, it's not supposed to do much. It's supposed to act as a store, right? So we have some tinted glass. It's one diamond per half stack here because these are very difficult to get. So if you want a full stack, well, you got to fork over two diamonds there, okay? But we got the amethyst blocks, which are slightly easier to get, which is one diamond per two stacks here. So if you want two stacks, well, all I need is one diamond. But then over here, we have last but definitely not least, my money maker this season. I'm pretty sure people are going to be buying this forever. The Moss Blocks, okay? And I priced this out. I think this is a pretty decent price. One diamond per three stacks. See, I have a farm, okay? And that farm is beneficial for me to run because eventually it's going to not only make me Moss Blocks, but it's also going to be making me Bone Meal. Okay, so three stacks, one diamond. I think that's a pretty decent price. Now, I think I would be amiss if I didn't mention this right up front. I did use Lightmatica for this, okay? It's the first time I've ever used Lightmatica, and I think it turned out beautiful. There was, a, there was a slight learning curve for the first few layers there. I had to learn how to do it, but I think after I learned, it worked beautifully beautifully and I was just able to basically import this blueprint from my creative world so I love it I love it and Lightmatica just makes things a little bit simpler when you're designing ideas and creative you can use an infinite block palette and then you could just come by and figure out a material list for one but then two you could build it just like you did in creative which I think is super super sick I don't know, maybe the way I do builds from now on. I don't know. <laughs> now one thing I wanna do before I head back home is I wanna go ahead and make a trip out to Sunfire's base because I have a little bit of a marketing strategy I wanna try to employ. Shop at Mossy Gems today, baby. And I didn't wanna leave him a whole ton of moss blocks. This is basically just gonna get his palette wet. He's gonna be like, ooh, moss blocks. But realistically, this is not enough moss blocks to do anything with, okay? So, I'm targeting my marketing strategy towards Sunfire. Sunfire, buy all of my moss today. Okay, I'm gonna be very disappointed if you don't. <laughs> Ooh, Dom's online too? Okay, we could target market him as well. I have a different strategy this time. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Here, here, shop at Mossy Gems today. Yeah, read that. Read that. Yeah, shop at Mops Mossy Gems. Yeah, and then seriously, if you don't, I'll get you. Okay? Seriously. Look at me. I'll get you. A discount. 
Obviously, I wouldn't try hurting you in any way, shape, or form. Whoa, I wouldn't resort to violence now. Come on. <laughs> uh, who do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever, just shop at my store, man. <laughs> Probably the most bizarre marketing strategy, but I hope he gets it. I hope he likes it. Shop at my store. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I hope there's no spoilers here, but I'm pretty sure Adela is making some farmland behind her base here, kind of linking up the path between the shopping district and Cranky Town here. And this just looks, oh, very beautiful. Actually, I, I love this. This is awesome. Adela, thumbs up. <laughs> In fact, I think you inspired me. You know what? You know what I want to do for the rest of the episode? Rather than go back and do what I wanted to do over at my base, I think what I want to do is I want to make Shopping District look a little bit more pretty as well. Of course, my base or my shop does that pretty well. Yeah, my shop's the best one. You guys can all bow down to my shop. My shop's the most beautiful. Uh, other than this one, this one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good too. These ones look relatively decent. I would say better than mine. And this one, oh yeah, definitely way better. And then Ander, of course. <laughs> yeah, his looks pretty good too. <laughs> but I've been staring at this pit of death for a while now. And honestly, I need a mind-numbing repetitive task of filling it in with some water. So I hope no one else had this plan. So I'm just gonna, I'm honestly, I'm just gonna get to it. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Is there anything more satisfying? Oh, <laughs> oh he, that just took, oh, this just added like 10 years to my life right there. Holy cow. And there you have it. Yeah, that's that's decent. <laughs> I like that. Just adding a lake here adds a whole new personality to this place. Pretty. So let me work on a road design now. So what I'm thinking is we just extend this road kind of out this way around kind of this dock area and then kind of have a path that goes up towards uh, KP's place and then wraps around back to this path right here. So let me do that. Let me see how that looks. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You know, nothing incredibly special here, but adding this path, this very simplistic and not well-designed path at any way, shape, or form has done a lot for the shopping district in several ways. Essentially what happens is when people come here and they want to build a shop, well, now they have all of this area to build that shop, whether they put a shop here, here, here along this boardwalk area or here or here next to KP's shop. It just opens this space up a little bit more. And honestly, I don't know why, but I like the vibe of a circle, <laughs> right? And this is a very circular shopping district. So if you just go along this path, you're going to get to every shop uh, eventually. Now the hope is people actually come out here and put their shops up crossing my fingers i'm hoping this gets people in this shopping district and making a whole lot more moolah because the more people in the shopping district means the more people shopping at my moss store <laughs> yeah i'm selfish <laughs> yep 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 oh no oh man <laughs> all right i guess we should go back to our base and see what that's about the real question is, how big did they go with this? Is it going to be very obvious what exactly is going on? <laughs> I would say yes. I would say yes. It's pretty obvious in what's going on here. <laughs> what is this about, man? Why do I have so much dirt on top of my portal here? Oh, jeez. Sorry I removed your custom hill. <laughs> I returned your dirt with interest. Ander, come on, man. 
So several episodes ago, while I was designing Cranky Town a little bit and laying down paths and beautifying it just a tad bit more, I had this really cool idea to make these like little pillar things, kind of like this, how it's just a small little hill, nothing too special. This guy right here, I did a little bit of work on, not a whole lot, I'll be honest with you, but I really like that aspect of having these mountainous kind of pillars. I made another pillar right here and it ran, I'll be honest, it was probably one of the bigger ones. And Ander came in and decided to place an enchanting setup. Now, one, I'm glad that we have a, a, an official enchanting setup now, but two, I put a lot of work into that hill. <laughs> and he just came by and tore it up, didn't even ask. <laughs> So it looks like Ander and Vid both came by and gave me a little bit of uh, a return on that dirt. <laughs> I gotta admit, it's a little bit bigger than what I had over at spawn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a lot of dirt. Holy cow. Okay. But I mean, it, it definitely could have been worse. He could have left like thousands of more dirt blocks. So I'm happy that that was an easy cleanup. But rest assured, I'm not just going to let this one fly, no puns intended. No, I'm going to get them back. I'm going to get them back here in the near future. And it's going to be a whole lot worse than just a little bit of dirt laying around. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. But it is about time for me to go ahead and call this episode quits. We did a lot today. Getting some passive income with this nice, fancy new shop. Ooh, mossy gems, baby. Mossy gems. We're going to be making so much dough. And we even did a little bit of work here on the shopping district. Is it fancy? No. But it does it look a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. So if you liked the episode, please like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys next one. Peace.